My dear child, I see the burdens you carry, the mountains you climb and the valleys that test your spirit. I know that the path is rugged and the night is long, but hear me now, for I am here to guide you through every dark hour and every tear you shed. I am training you, beloved, not merely to get through these challenges, but to emerge from them with a radiance that reflects my glory. The trials you face are not just stumbling blocks, but stepping stones to a higher place, a place where your spirit is stronger, your faith deeper, and your capacity for love greater. This transformation is no ordinary change. It is a divine metamorphosis, and it is accomplished through the power of my Holy Spirit. So, when the weight of life presses down upon your shoulders, do not run faster into the chaos. Instead, slow down. Come into my presence. Feel my peace. Speak to me, for I am always listening. Invite my spirit to enter your situation as you pour out the intricacies of your difficulties in our intimate conversation. Place your requests at my feet, my child, and await with anticipation. I know how you long for immediate answers, for swift resolution, but trust in my timing. I am working in ways you cannot see, knitting together a masterpiece from the threads of your experiences. The resolutions I weave are never just for the moment, but are designed for everlasting impact. I am sculpting your soul, crafting your character, and preparing you for an eternal destiny that far outweighs this momentary affliction. Do not misjudge the silence during your waiting as inaction. For in the quiet moments, in the seemingly still times, I am often doing my greatest work within you. These struggles you face, they are not only about you, they are a part of a grander narrative, a cosmic battle between light and darkness. The manner in which you confront these adversities, wielding trust and thankfulness as your weapons, brings me honor and illuminates the heavens with your faith. Remember when you choose to lean on me, to put your unwavering trust in my eternal goodness, you magnify me. And each time you approach me with a heart full of gratitude, even before the dawn breaks on your situation, you are practicing a sacred rhythm that reshapes your very soul. You may wonder, how can I be joyful in times of trouble? My child, joy is not the absence of pain. It is the presence of me, your Lord, in all circumstances. It is the steadfast knowledge that I am with you, working all things for good, crafting beauty from ashes, and leading you to streams of living water, where your joy will be made full. Persist in your prayers for persistence is the key to the door of spiritual maturity. It is the exercise that strengthens your faith muscles, teaching you to depend not on mortal strength, but on my immortal power. And as you grow in this spiritual discipline, you will see a transformation in yourself. The face you lift to me in prayer will start to reflect my glory, and the life you live will be a testimony of my grace. You are crowned with glory, my precious one, for I have made you a little lower than the angels and have adorned you with honor. You are destined not for the dust from which you came, but for the everlasting kingdom prepared for you. And in this kingdom, the trials of today will shine as jewels in your crown, each one a testament to your faith and my faithfulness. Therefore, Arise each morning with expectancy in your heart. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. And together we will walk this journey, hand in hand, heart to heart, until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. For now, rest in my embrace, find solace in my words, and let the peace of my presence envelop you as you trust in my unfailing love. You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. My precious child, 
feel the warmth of my embrace as I speak to you. Pause for a moment and let the reality of my eternal love for you sink deeply into your heart, for it is in the quietude of your soul that my voice resonates with clarity and strength. Reflect upon the creation, the wondrous works of my hands, and know that they are but a whisper of my power. Yet, in all of my vast creation, nothing moves me more than you, my beloved child. From the very foundations of the world, I foreknew you, predestined you to be adopted as my own. The joy that surged through heaven when you made the decision to follow me. Listen, as I tell you of a love story, the greatest ever told. It is a tale not of earthly romance, but of a divine covenant, a pledge written in the very blood of my son. When sin erected a barrier between us, I was not content to let it stand. My heart yearned for you, ached for our reunion. So I did the unimaginable. I sent my only son to bear the iniquities of the world. It was my love for you that held Jesus on the cross, not the nails that pierced his hands and feet. He could have descended at any moment, but your redemption, your freedom, was worth every sorrow he endured. The agony of separation I felt when he who knew no sin became sin for you. Yet, through this excruciating sacrifice, the most extraordinary exchange took place. My righteousness became yours. I made him who had no sin to be sin for you so that in him you might become the righteousness of God. It is this righteousness that envelops you now, that marks you as mine. And so, my dear one, you are to live not in the shadow of guilt, but in the light of my grace. For guilt speaks of debts yet unpaid, of punishment yet to come. But at the cross, your debt was settled, your punishment borne. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Do you understand the magnitude of this freedom? It is not a mere reprieve or a temporary stay. It is an eternal liberation. You are not called to live as a freed prisoner, constantly looking over your shoulder in fear of re-enslavement. You are called to live as royalty, as a co-heir with Christ, adorned with the very righteousness of God. So come, beloved, live in the joy that is your rightful inheritance. Each day is a fresh canvas upon which my mercies paint new beginnings. Let go of the shackles of your past, the worries of your present, and the uncertainties of your future. I have them all in my hands, and my plans for you are for good and not for harm, to give you a future and a hope. Let not the world dictate your worth or your identity. You are not defined by your failures, nor are you confined by your weaknesses. You are who I say you are, chosen, holy, and dearly loved. Wear these truths as a garment, cloaking yourself in the dignity they afford. And in those moments when you stumble, when you find yourself ensnared by sin, remember, my mercies are new every morning. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Run back into my arms, for my love is not a fickle flame that wanes at every misstep. It is an unquenchable fire, a beacon that shines all the brighter in the darkness. Rejoice, my child for your name is inscribed upon my hands, your image etched upon my heart. And there is nothing in all of creation, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation that will be able to separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus your Lord. Now, live freely, Love boldly and shine brightly, for you are my light in the world. Go forth and bear fruit that will last, fruit that testifies to the magnificent truth of the gospel. Be at peace, for I am with you always, 
even to the end of the age. Your joy, your peace, your purpose, they are all found in me. Rejoice in the life you have been given, for it is truly, profoundly, a gift beyond compare. As I beckon you into this intimate space, hear my voice, the voice of the Risen One, your eternal shepherd. I am the living embodiment of hope, the kindling of joy in your heart, and the endless wellspring of love that flows for you. Imagine, if you will, the vastness of a universe painted with the stars is my canvas, and yet, within that immeasurable space, it is you, my child, who captures my gaze. Revel in the splendor of serving a savior who dances with life, whose heartbeat is the rhythm of creation itself. I am with you, within the morning's first light and the evening's last star. Through tempests and tranquility, in the valley of shadows, or atop the mountain of triumphs. My promise to be your steadfast companion endures. It is a promise that weaves through the tapestry of time and into the eternal embrace. Hold fast to these truths, for they are the anchor in your storms and the compass in your quests. I call you to stride with confidence on the path of life, gripping my hand with the trust of a child. For I am the one whose grasp is unyielding, whose strength is unfailing. As you place each foot forward, remember the gifts I lay before you, my enduring presence, the absolution of your trespasses, and the assurance of celestial joys that await. This bounty, so magnificent and boundless, defies your earthly understanding. Yet, it is yours. Why, you might ask, is worship so vital? It is because in the act of worship, you touch the hem of heaven. It bridges the expanse between my realm and yours, offering a connection that surpasses knowledge. When you sing a hymn, when you pour over my word, when you kneel in prayer, alone or united with your brothers and sisters, you declare my sovereignty. And in that proclamation, there is power. Behold the myriad paths to worship, the melody of a praise song, the commitment to scripture, the quietude of prayer, or the reverence in witnessing the marvels I have sculpted across the earth and skies. Yet worship can also be found in the mundane, in the smile you offer to a stranger, in the comfort you provide to the sorrowful, in the bread you share with the hungry. For when you embody my love in your actions, you elevate the most ordinary moment into a hymn of worship. Everything you do, every breath you take, every word you speak, let it be a testament to my glory. For your life is a precious melody in the symphony of creation, a melody that I cherish and delight in. As you ponder these things, let them seep deep into your bones, become the marrow of your spirit. Remember the garden from which your journey began and the paradise that awaits. In between, every step, Every stumble and every stride is part of a grand pilgrimage that I orchestrate with tenderness and purpose. And so, I implore you to embrace the call of this pilgrimage with fervor. Do not be daunted by the unknowns that lie ahead, nor be ensnared by the chains of yesterday. I am the architect of your tomorrows and the redeemer of your yesterdays. In me, all things are made new every morning every moment. I witness your struggles and your triumphs, your whispers in the dark, and your shouts of joy in the light. There is not a tear that escapes my notice, nor a laugh that doesn't resonate through my heavens. You are my child, fearfully and wonderfully made, destined to shine forth my love to a world in need. Therefore, rise up with the dawn, stand tall in the noontide, and rest peacefully when the night falls. For in every season, under every sky, my love is a canopy above you, my grace the ground beneath you. Live boldly, love fiercely, and worship wholeheartedly. For in doing so, you embody the very essence of my kingdom here on earth. 
With each day granted, may your heart be courageous, your spirit generous, and your life a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to me. This is your true and proper worship. Remember always that you are never alone, for I am as close as the whisper of your heart, the Creator calling to His creation, the Father who adores His child. Walk with me and let the chapters of your life be the storytelling of divine grace. For in the grand narrative of eternity, your story is interwoven with my love, a love that never fades, never ends, and never fails. I see the burdens you carry, the mountains you climb, and the valleys that test your spirit. I know that the path is rugged and the night is long, but hear me now, for I am here to guide you through every dark hour and every tear you shed. I am training you, beloved, not merely to get through these challenges, but to emerge from them with a radiance that reflects my glory. The trials you face are not just stumbling blocks, but stepping stones to a higher place, a place where your spirit is stronger, your faith deeper, and your capacity for love greater. This transformation is no ordinary change. It is a divine metamorphosis, and it is accomplished through the power of my Holy Spirit. So, when the weight of life presses down upon your shoulders, do not run faster into the chaos. Instead, slow down. Come into my presence. Feel my peace. Speak to me, for I am always listening. Invite my spirit to enter your situation as you pour out the intricacies of your difficulties in our intimate conversation. Place your requests at my feet, my child, and await with anticipation. I know how you long for immediate answers, for swift resolution, but trust in my timing. I am working in ways you cannot see, knitting together a masterpiece from the threads of your experiences. The resolutions I weave are never just for the moment, but are designed for everlasting impact. I am sculpting your soul, crafting your character, and preparing you for an eternal destiny that far outweighs this momentary affliction. Do not misjudge the silence during your waiting as inaction. For in the quiet moments, in the seemingly still times, I am often doing my greatest work within you. These struggles you face, they are not only about you, they are a part of a grander narrative, a cosmic battle between light and darkness. The manner in which you confront these adversities, wielding trust and thankfulness as your weapons, brings me honor and illuminates the heavens with your faith. Remember, when you choose to lean on me, to put your unwavering trust in my eternal goodness, you magnify me. And each time you approach me with a heart full of gratitude, even before the dawn breaks on your situation, you are practicing a sacred rhythm that reshapes your very soul. You may wonder, how can I be joyful in times of trouble? My child, joy is not the absence of pain. It is the presence of me, your Lord, in all circumstances. It is the steadfast knowledge that I am with you, working all things for good, crafting beauty from ashes and leading you to streams of living water where your joy will be made full. Persist in your prayers, for persistence is the key to the door of spiritual maturity. It is the exercise that strengthens your faith muscles, teaching you to depend not on mortal strength, but on my immortal power. And as you grow in this spiritual discipline, you will see a transformation in yourself. The face you lift to me in prayer will start to reflect my glory, and the life you live will be a testimony of my grace. You are crowned with glory, my precious one, for I have made you a little lower than the angels, and have adorned you with honor, Psalm 8, 5. You are destined not for the dust from which you came, but for the everlasting kingdom prepared for you. And in this kingdom, the trials of today will shine as jewels in your crown, each one a testament to your faith and my faithfulness. Therefore, arise each morning with expectancy in your heart, 
Psalm 5.3 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Present your request to me. Philippians 4-6 to And together we will walk this journey, hand in hand, heart to heart, until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. For now, rest in my embrace, find solace in my words, and let the peace of my presence envelop you as you trust in my unfailing love. You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. Hush now, your mind's relentless march into tomorrow's not yet born. Draw in a deep breath and let it anchor you to the here, to the now, where I am with you, always by your side. See, my child, when your heart looks for me with the joy of a smile within it, know that my own heart delights in you far more than you could imagine. Your every concern, the weight that bows your shoulders, I am here to share it. Speak to me, share with me as intimately as a child confides in a loving parent. Call upon me, won't you? In your daily list of to-dos and must-happens, call out for my guidance. I yearn to set your priorities, not to burden, but to harmonize them with my eternal will for you. And as you dance through the moments of your day, keep your inner eye upon me. Intertwine your tasks with thoughts of me and see how your joy blooms like a rose in the warmth of the sun. Yes, in bringing me into your work, into your play, into the mundane and the profound. You taste a sweeter flavor of effectiveness. And when the shadows of fatigue drape over you, remember, remember that I am your resting place. My arms, they do not weary. They are strong and forever open to cradle you, to offer solace and strength, to rest in my embrace, to wait with me. It is the truest expression of trust. Trust that I am here. Trust that I manage what you cannot. Trust that I am ever present and always good. When the time comes to rise from our rest, to rejoin the day's bustling rhythm, bring me with you. Include me in your strategies, your sketches for the future. This, my child, will be your shield against the specter of worry. It will be the compass that guides you back to me, to my love, to the deep and abiding joy that I offer. As you move forward, remember the lilies of the field, how they grow without toil or spinning. And yet, I clothe them in splendor, unrivaled by the richest of kings. How much more, then, will I care for you? Do not succumb to the siren call of anxiety over what tomorrow may hold, for it is I who hold tomorrow. Each moment is a mosaic piece, lovingly placed by my hand. Trust in the masterpiece I am crafting with your life. Seek me in the stillness, seek me in the storm. Whisper, my name, and I will turn my ear to you. Hold fast to my promises like the anchor in a tempest sea, for I am steadfast, unchangeable, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Turn your gaze to me, let it linger. Find in my presence the peace that eludes the grasp of those who know me not. I am here, not a breath away, in the quiet, in the chaos, in the ordinary and the extraordinary. I am the constant companion who delights in turning your struggles into victories, your tears, into rivers of joy. Lean into me when the world pushes hard against you. Find in my words the truth that sets free, the love that casts out fear, the hope that burns eternal. Let my scriptures be the balm for your soul, the wisdom that lights your path, the love letter written in eternity's ink. Remember David, who sought my face with a heart of worship, even amidst his trials. He knew the secret, that in my presence there is fullness of joy. There is refuge, there is hope for every tomorrow. Like him, keep your eyes ever toward me, and I will make your path straight. Let your soul find its rest in me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. 
In me, your soul will find rest from the endless striving, the relentless chase after the wind. Here with me, you will find the courage to face each task, the wisdom for each decision, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Come now, rise, and as you step back into the stream of life, keep your hand in mine. Walk with me. Work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace I offer. Do not be burdened by yokes of your own making. Take mine upon you, for it is easy, and my burden is light. Together let us face each day, each moment, and you will see. I am there in the quiet morning light, in the laughter of friends, in the beauty of creation, in the quiet resolve of your spirit. There is no place, no situation, no emotion where I am not fully with you. So breathe, my child, breathe. Step forth into this day, not alone, but with me, your God, your friend, your eternal guide. I am here now and always, beckoning you into a life lived fully, joyously, and in sweet communion with me. Amen.